Hi and welcome to part 9 of this tutorial series. Today we're going to make it possible to filter on categories. So when we click on one of these, we only should show courses from that category. So there are many steps you need to go through to achieve this. First of all, we need to load these categories from the backend and not hard code it like we've done here. So we begin, begin by setting up a serializer for this. So if I scroll up here and find serializers.py Then here at the top I can first import the category database model And then we can create a new serializer for this Class category serializer and Then we pass in serializers.model serializer I specify class to add some options specify which model to use, which is obviously the category and then which fields we want we want the ID, we want the name or title and the slug so now we can save this and then I want to create a new view so we can use this serializer which you first need to import here category serializer and we can add it at the top here API view you should only use the get request and then def get categories we pass in the request parameter and then we can get all of the categories by saying categories equals category dot object dot all as you can see here I get an error and that is because I need to import this model here then the error is gone great then we need to specify which serializer we're going to use, which is the category serializer. Now we can pass in the categories and say many equals true because there are more than one object here. Now we can just say return response like down here and save. And then we need to create or add this to the URL patterns. So here below the get front page courses we can add path get categories slash views dot get categories and save so now everything in the back end is ready for now so now we can go back to or go to the front end courses dot view then I want to begin by adding two more objects here first a list categories or array and then an active category so we can keep track of which category is active null and then down here in the mounted we can do this before we load the courses so we just set this to async and this to await and also the same here await axios so this will not start before this is finished here we can say dot get slash api slash v1 categories dot then response create the fat arrow function we can look at the result we get response dot data and then we close that so if we save now go back here refresh then I get an error here I got the 404 try to go to categories okay that's not the correct URL so it's courses slash get categories I think it's the correct one yes now you can see that they loaded down here three programming design and ux great before i continue i just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below so now i want to take these and show them in the list here so then we can here say this dot categories equals response dot data so now we set them to this I can scroll up and find here where I have hard coded them and then here I can say li v dash four to a loop through them for category in categories I get this error because you need to make this unique by using the v bind directive v dash bind key category.id close that one and then in here is a 
and we can just show the category dot title. I can close that and remove these three. Save. So when I go back, we still have these, but now they are loaded from the back end. Great. Before I continue, I just want to ask you to click like below if you enjoyed this video. This would make me really happy. And then when we click one of these, I want to set the variable active category to that specific category. And the same is if we click on this one, all courses, I want to reset it back to null. And I only want this to be is active if there are no active categories. So we can just move this on a separate line like that, like that. Uh, just clean it up a little bit so it's easier to see and then here is a v dash bind colon class and this should only show is active if active category is false or doesn't have a value and if we click this we want to reset this so v dash on click or you can also say at click as a shorthand set active category null. So I need to create this function as well or methods. If I copy that name, scroll down, create a methods list here. And then here we specify the category, which also can be null. And when that's done, we can say this dot active category equals category. So now this will reset this one. So then if we go up here now, then we can copy this and add it to the line down here. But this there's a null here, we can pass in the category. So we can check that this is working by going down here and say console.log category. And then if I click programming, now says this object and if I click all courses it says null and this became active again but we also want to make these active when they are active so scroll up again and find there and we can copy this v bind here like that but instead of saying this we say that active category.id equals category.id if this variable's id is the same as the one in the iteration of this for loop, then it will show as active here. Okay, there is an error. Okay, that did not work because there isn't a correct one. So instead of sending this to null, we just want to set it to be an object. I think that will work. So save, refresh. No, it's still not working. Okay, it's not working. So we can just come back to this later. So we should remove this, refresh. And then when we click this, I want to load all of the courses just for this category. So then I need to scroll down here, create a new method called get courses, like that. And then here, if this dot active category, then we know that it is a category and not an empty object. So we can just set this back to null. And the same when we click there, we want to set it to null. So then we know that if there is a category, we want to call this function. This dot get courses. And it should look almost like up here where we get the courses here. So I can cut this out from there and paste it in here instead, like that. But if there are an active category, I want to specify it in the URL here. So I can create a new variable, let URL equals, and I remove this like that, URL. And then, then here, you can say if this dot active category, then URL plus equals question mark category ID equals 
plus this dot active category dot id so then this is appended to the url so if i refresh now you see that it doesn't get the courses anymore so i need to call this function up here as well so when this is finished we can call it here by saying this dot get courses great and if i click this now and then i go to the terminal you will see here that we want to get the courses from this category id so we just need to change the back end a little bit so if we go to views.py and then in the get courses first i want to get the id from the url by saying category id equals request get get category id and this can default to empty and then below here where we have gotten all of the courses we can check that if we have a category id then we can filter them by saying courses equals courses filter oops courses like that categories underscore underscore id not in equals now we can convert this to an integer category id so now we check that if this id is in the list of categories this is the way you are support supposed to filter a many-to-many -many field so now we can save this refresh now we still got all of the courses if i click ux i actually got none then i click design then i get four click programming and i got three all courses doesn't work and why didn't that work okay now we still need to call this even if active category is set or not that's why it didn't load so refresh programming get these all courses gives all of them perfect so now we have successfully added filtering on the categories so you can set this to done